Good morning. Yes, well, we're actually still making breakfast for George Washington, but we're starting here. It all starts here. This is Sarah Mass, Sarah Marie Massey, sorry, with Historic Trades. What is this? This is a corn, and it's one of the oldest methods of grinding grain, and it's a much smaller version of what George Washington would have been using. He had a, a set of millstones. They were large. You have one set of stones on the bottom. The second set is on the top and rotates. And in between, the grain is falling and being ground between um, grooves that slice it. And, and would he have had corn growing here at Mount Vernon? Yes. Washington's main crash crop was wheat, but he had one field of corn, uh, about 400 acres of it total, um, at each of his farms. So in terms of breakfast, what would have been served was hoe cakes. Um, this was Washington's favorite breakfast. He liked them covered in butter and honey. Um, they're a cornmeal pancake. You can see the, the butter and honey being slathered on right now. And this would have been eaten by everyone on the estate, Washington's guests, um, Washington himself. His wife preferred uh, toast with butter. Um, but everyone on the East Coast actually would have been eating some form of hoe cakes whether they were prepared with this recipe or not. Great, and you know, what, um, what do you think is, is the best part about eating like this, you know, on, on the fire like this? Oh, everything tastes better when it's cooked over a fire. And right. it, yes. And, and this meal, as far as the day goes, breakfast, was it the most important meal of the day? Actually, it would have been a fairly light meal. It would have been served with uh, just cold meat. Um, the main meal of the day was served at 3 o'clock, and it would have been multi-course, and then there would have been a late supper that was fairly light. Perfect. Well, we'll have more from uh, George Washington's Mount Vernon coming up later in the show. Reporting live, Sarah Consman, WUSA 9. Sarah